what are treatment membranes and their process the process of uh, water treatment of membranes filtering out contaminants even at the nanoscale membranes are mainstay of water and wastewater treatments in water treatment membranes are barriers that allow water to pass through but stop unwanted substances from passing through with it working much like the cell walls in our bodies technical membranes filter out salts impurities viruses and other particles from water a membrane process is an method that relies that relies on a membrane barrier to filter or remove particles from water fluid is passed through the membrane because of the pressure difference between one side of the membrane and the other contaminants remain on one side although many types of filtering media are used for water treatment for instance clay silt and salt sand one of the properties that distinguishes membranes is their ability to separate smaller substances such as salts and ions from a liquid membranes were first applied to water treatment processes in the 1960s but in the next decade they became increasingly used for desalinization now the list of membrane processes used in water treatment has lengthened to include forward osmosis reverse osmosis microfiltration ultrafiltration and nano filtration different processes require different types of membrane broadly speaking either functioning as a sieve or separating water from impurities on a molecular level membranes are made from polymer based films ceramics and other materials research is underway on materials block polymers aluminum oxide graphene and other nanomaterials like carbon nanotubes membranes have varying degrees of permeability microfilters membranes have the largest pore size at 0.1 to 10 microns followed by ultra filtration at 0.1 to 0.01 microns and nano filter filters at 0.01 to 0.035 microns and reverse osmosis membranes which effectively are non porous at 0.0001 of a micron membrane types and configurations membranes usually are classified as isotropic or anisotropic isotropic membranes show a uniform composition and physical structure in cross section while anisotropic membranes are not uniform in cross section they generally are formed from differently structured layers and different materials types of membranes in general use include tubular hollow fiber and flat sheet these types are applied in different configurations such as within a frame like the flat sheet membranes used in fluence smart packaged neurobox solution or spirally wound such as those used in membrane aerated biofilm reactor 
MABR technologies like Fluences, Asparel, Smart Packaged Wastewater Treatment Plants. The ideal properties of water treatment membrane configurations are compactness, low tangential flow resistance, uniform velocity distribution without dead regions, high retentate side turbulence to minimize falling and help mass transfer, easy maintenance and cleaning, and low unit cost. In general, membrane processes offer the possibility of separating water from various types of solute and of separating solutes either on the basis of size or because some are ionized and others are not. In addition to these cases where a high degree of separation is achieved. There are many instances where the composition of the dissolved material is altered. One example is in reverse osmosis where the permeate has a considerably reduced salt content. Now we can have the look of uh, the osmosis and reverse osmosis in water purification membranes are used in osmosis and reverse osmosis among other processes forward Osmosis or simply osmosis is a physical process in which a solvent moves across a semi-permeable membrane. It is best known as the process cell cells used to transport water. Water is present on both sides of the membrane with different levels of dissolved minerals on both sides. The water with the greater concentration of solutes naturally becomes diluted. A French scientist and cleric Jean Antoine Nollet and cleric first observed osmosis in 1748 and coined the term based on the Greek words endosmos and exosmos, endosmos and exosmos. Reverse osmosis in contrast relies on pressure to force water through a membrane, thus separating water from impurities. A 2018 survey of industry professionals on the effectiveness of water reuse technologies placed reverse osmosis among the top ranked while reverse osmosis is frequently used for desalinization. It also is used for wastewater treatment and water reuse as well as for removal of trace phosphates, calcium, heavy metals and other substances. Microfiltration and ultrafiltration In membrane, technology is based on blocking particles including microfiltration and ultrafiltration. Pore size is important because it determines the size of the particles and microorganisms that can pass through the barrier. The small pored membranes used in ultrafiltration block proteins, fatty acids, macromolecules, bacteria, protozoa, viruses and suspended solids. Membrane process challenges. The effectiveness of membrane treatment often depends on the condition of the membrane. For example, 
for reverse osmosis technologies to operate efficiently the membrane must be impeccable maintained or it can be fouled with scale or biofilms a perennial problem fouling can reduce effectiveness and increase energy consumption much research is devoting devoted to engineering membranes to resist fouling through specialized coatings or other treatments such as changing the charge of the membrane material in the mid 2010s researchers in israel developed an important chemical free process to prevent membrane fouling in reverse osmosis desalinization the process prevents membrane fouling lowers chemical cost and makes desalinization more eco friendly pre treatment with a two stage granular rapid biofloculation filter rbf a first stage biofloculator bf and a mixed media bed filter mbf prevents fouling agents from reaching the membrane this and other improvements to sea water reverse osmosis swro have made the process much more cost efficient which in turn has led to explosive global growth in swro thank you